Hello again, my friends. I hope everyone is doing a splendidly. If you're new here, my name is Josie, aka Sir Plains a lot. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. <laughs> So today I thought I would do a, a tour of my plant shelves. Well, not really a tour. I'm not gonna be showing you any plants in this video, but I'm gonna show you my plant shelves and how they are set up because I get so many questions on Instagram about the plant shelves themselves and the grow lights that I use and everything around that so I'm just gonna show you around um, this is gonna be especially helpful for people that are maybe moving into a new place and considering getting a new plant shelf set up so hopefully I'm gonna show you some cool things that you might want to implement with your plant shelf in the future. <laughs> I am still recovering from COVID, so excuse my voice, and I am literally out of breath for talking for only two minutes already, but <laughs> we can do this, we can do this. So if there's a specific element of the plant shelf that you're interested in, then feel free to use the chapters down in the timeline below. And I think that's all I have to say, so let's get into it. So I have put the chair out of the way, but this is what it looks like from afar. It's basically two units uh, next to each other. These are the uh, IKEA Vizio shelves. They are honestly the perfect shelf for plants because they've got glass shelves, meaning that when you have grow lights on top of them, the light actually goes through uh, all of the levels. And also it's Ikea, so it's really affordable. It's made out of metal, so there's no chance of rotting or anything, um, because obviously you're gonna have water spillages occurring at some point. One thing that I don't love about these plant shelves is that um, you can't really keep a taller plants on here. So as you can see, most of my plants here are trailing plants. The Alocasia capria back there, that's kind of cutting it really close because um, it recently decided to just start growing <laughs> really big leaves. So now it's really close to the grow lights and um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the tops are getting a little bit bleached from the grow lights. So size wise, if you want to keep plants like Anthurium or even some taller Calatheas, like I have uh, this Calathea here and even this one, uh, or the anthurium, you couldn't really keep that on those plant shelves, unfortunately. And the same goes for if you have a lot of trellised plants. Um, I mean, these are obviously tiny trellises, so they fit in perfectly fine, but uh, you have to keep in mind that like, if the plants grow a little bit, they're not gonna be able to fit on the shelf anymore. I mean, they could, but the thing is that like you don't want to have the plant too close to the grow light because obviously it's gonna get bleached or even burned. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But overall, you know, for trailing plants or for smaller plants, which is most of my collections, as you can see here, um, I'd say that the shelf is pretty much perfect for that. So yeah, these are the shelves. You can also get them in white. I got the black just because I, I don't know, I prefer the black. Um, and I also think the white ones were sold out anyway, which is one thing I wanted to mention. These tend to be sold out quite a lot. So um, if you want to get your hands on them then uh, yeah get ready for them maybe being out of stock <laughs> so I think that's all about the shelves that you need to know so let's move on to the grow lights so the grow lights are the Monios T8 grow lights um, I would like to take credit for finding these but um, I didn't <laughs> I just heard a lot of people had good experiences with these, so I ordered them and I've had pretty good experiences with these as well. They definitely are on the pricier side, but I do have to say like they are pretty decent grow lights because they are quite strong, uh, so the plants are obviously getting everything that they need. There is pretty much no natural light uh, for these plants. There's a north-facing window over there that, um, so these aren't getting any sunlight 
damage whatsoever. And you know, the plants have been growing fine, so uh, the grow lights have been sufficient to kind of sustain all of them in this area. And even some of these plants over here are getting the light from there, so these are able to live thanks to these grow lights as well. Most importantly though, if I turn these on, you can see that uh, they have a warm color and it's warm white, so it's not purple, it's not blue, it's not anything like that. So uh, it doesn't look like I'm growing weed in here from the outside, <laughs> which is what I really appreciate, especially um, because this is my living room, like I mentioned. Um, I spent a lot of time in here and having these sort of lights just makes it, I don't know, seem a lot nicer than if they were purple or blue or anything like that. So yeah. Pretty happy with those. Um, I have them on for 12 hours a day and um, some of the plants, especially the ones with brighter foliage, you can see that some of them are a little bit bleached. So be careful with lighter foliage. I had this neon pothos on the plant shelf and a bunch of leaves burned up and died <laughs> because they were so bleached. So be careful about that, but obviously you can also just not have the grow lights on for that long in the day. These grow lights were also a perfect choice for me because they came in a pack of six. So as you can see, I've got one on each level of the shelf. And um, the good thing about these is that you can kind of use however many you want because these cables are detachable from the actual light. So if you only want to use like two or three at a time, you can definitely do that. I specifically wanted to use all six because obviously I've got six levels here. So that's what I'm doing. One thing I should mention about the lights is that they do come with their own adhesive blocks. As you can see, I use adhesives to attach it. Uh, because, well, this is fine, but I don't know how I would drill it into the glass, so I just use the adhesives. Only thing about that is, is that sometimes the light, this one in particular, <laughs> falls down on top of the plants. That's not necessarily the light's fault, but it's the adhesive's fault. A lot of people say that instead of the uh, command strips that it comes with, you should get your own command strips by 3M. I didn't do that. I paid the price a couple of times, but um, yeah, <laughs> if you want to prevent that, I guess maybe look into that and don't use these command strips. But like I said, it's only this one light that's been falling down. None of the other ones have. So like I said, these lights are connected via cables uh, to one another. So this basically, this first light starts here and then it goes connected through here. Then this one has a cable going down that is connected to this one and it basically goes like a little snake <laughs> all the way to the bottom one. Um, this is the bottom one because it's connected to the outlet here. Um, I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but uh, I also wanted to mention that there's like a lot of uh, excess cable at the back here. Um, so because I didn't want it to just flop around, what I did was I just took some zip ties and zip tied it to the back of the shelf. And you know, like it's still not the most polished look, I'll be honest, you can still see these flopping around. But you know, as far as aesthetic goes, um, I think it looks okay considering could be worse. <laughs> I also forgot to mention these grow lights, um, these little shady things are actually detachable. So if you don't want those on there, you can remove those. Um, I personally have them on just because I don't like the glare from the grow lights because obviously this is my living room and I like to just chill here. Um, and also it kind of redirects the light towards the plants rather than just, you know, all over the place. Okay, let's now talk about this baby. Um, I'm not gonna disconnect it because I'm too lazy, but this should be enough to show you <laughs> what it is. So this is a uh, 
plug system extension type of thing um, by this brand, AOFO. I don't know. It's got USB port and it's got one, two, three, four plugs for, you know, anything that you need basically. What I... Thanks, Lilu. Okay, goodbye. 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 What I love about this extension in particular is that uh, they are multi-extension cords. I don't know what you would call it, but basically, as you can see, this is an American plug and this is a UK plug and you can plug both of those in there. I'm pretty sure you could plug a um, EU one in there too. So that's amazing, especially, you know, for someone like me that has million types of different plugs. That's not even the best part, yeah. So um, as you can see, you've got little lights here indicated, which... Um, can you stop? You're disrespecting me. You can see the lights here indicating which of the outlets are active at the moment. And, okay, hold on. And that is because it is actually connected to this app that I have here. So, as you can see, um, we've got four of the plugs here. If you scroll down, you've got the USB ones as well. And you can basically turn them on and off as you like. Um, so obviously right now you can see that this one is on, that's the heat mat. You can name them whatever you want them uh, to be called, obviously. So I've got grow lights, I've got heat mat, humidifier. And uh, best part about this is you can actually also set up a schedule for them. So for the grow lights, for example, you can see that I've got... Seriously, stop! So for the grow lights, you can see that I've got a schedule that turns the lights on at 9 a.m. in the morning and turns them off at 8. So it's not actually 12 hours, it's 11 hours, but tiny, tiny difference. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can customize this however you want. And honestly, for the grow lights, it is such a game changer because you don't have to worry about turning on the lights in the morning and turning them off in the evening manually. And also like if you're away from the house or you go on a vacation or something, um, and you realize that I, you forgot to turn the lights off or something, then you can do it remotely because this is connected via Wi-Fi. So honestly, this is like what I'm most proud of <laughs> about this situation because everything is automated, everything is just running on its own schedule and I'm loving it. So like I mentioned, I also have a humidifier and a heat mat that you can see right here connected to the same plug over there. So the humidifier isn't on a schedule because um, I'm too lazy to have it on every single day. So I just don't really deal with that and only turn it on when I need to. But um, I do have the heat mat. So this here is the heat mat. So it's got a plant hospital and some propagation living on top of that. I've got a video about the heat mat and like uh, this whole situation so if you want to check that out I'm gonna link it uh, up in the cards and also in the description box. But yeah this is also on a schedule so it turns off at night and also I turn it off whenever I leave the house and like I said especially with the heat mat there is some fire hazard associated with it so it's good to be able to turn it off remotely if you forget. Um, so yeah that's what I really like about that. So that's pretty much all there is to my plant shelf. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm sad that if I'm gonna be moving at home I'm not gonna have space for these shelves anymore which is a little bit of a bummer but for now you know i'm really happy with this setup especially because uh this is such a dark room so being able to have plant shelves with grow lights on them is amazing let me know if you have any questions or anything and i would also like to hear from you if you have any special gadgets or i don't know something that just makes your plant shelf a little bit easier um, down in the comments because I'd be very curious to know because you know there's always there's always room to improve isn't there <laughs> anyway that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like comment subscribe hit that notification bell follow me on Instagram all of those good things and I'll see you here for my next video bye